Hi folks, my name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. One of the major skill sets required to administer x-rays to patients is the ability to apply appropriate doses of radiation to the patient. If too much radiation is administered, the patient is over-radiated and it is possible that the x-ray will appear too dark or parts of the subject's anatomy will be blackened out. Consequently, if the dose is too low, the image quality depreciates and the image or parts of the image will appear bright or whited out. In both scenarios, there is a probability that a repeat x-ray will be necessary, hence adding exposure levels to the patient. With the traditional analog film method, where film is exposed and processed in dark rooms, it was easy to tell when the exposure levels were off. The film was either dark or light. It was a cut and dry scenario. But with the onset of digital imaging and sophisticated software, under and over exposures aren't so obvious. You see, the algorithms within the X-ray software extrapolate signals from the digital X-ray device and intuitively optimize them. Whether an image is underexposed or overexposed, the software will actually correct these deviations up to 500%, meaning that if the x-ray settings are significantly miscalculated, the system will usually still produce an image. This means that the x-ray software is as important to the outcome of the images as the x-ray factors. If an operator uses the correct doses for a specific exam and the algorithms are wrongly configured, the resulting image will be suboptimal or poor. So, if the final x-rays are dependent on the x-ray software, how do we know if our exposures are correct or not? The secret can be found in the settings of the software. Different manufacturers provide auditing methods within their software functionalities. The common denominator is the exposure index. The exposure index measures the amount of x-rays that are received by the x-ray plate, also known as an image receptor. This measurement is contrasted to a scale that can be interpreted as too much or too little radiation. These indices yield numerical ranges that are regarded as within normal limits. If inappropriate x-ray doses are administered, then the exposure index numbers will be higher or lower than the set ranges. Regarding the numbers themselves, there is no streamlined unit of measure. Some systems may set 200 to 500 as a normal range, while others may use 1,000 to 2,000. It is incumbent on the x-ray operator to contact their x-ray software company or read the user manual to determine what their normal ranges should be. Once this information is determined, then the x-ray specialist must work to keep their examinations within these ranges. This may sound complicated, but it really isn't. Finding out the EI ranges for your system and making continued adjustments to stay within those ranges is the end game. Clinical staff can usually locate these numbers with each x-ray image that is produced, making it easy to adapt. Aside from that, some systems will also provide histogram graphics that reflect pixel saturation levels. This is more superficial than using the exposure indices, but it can be helpful. Again, users should consult with their x-ray manufacturer to determine proper information on how to interpret these graphs. That concludes this episode of How Do I Know If I Used Enough Radiation? If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner, and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.